CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Good morning. So um, I'm close to the planned LZ, but um, the road ends here, so that's where we're going to start up. There's a actually the road continues on. A little sign here I'll show you that uh, looks like they wanted to close it a little bit early, so I'll respect that. Park here, and uh, I'm guessing it only adds about a mile to the um, hike of that. So no big one. The actual hike wasn't that big, but uh, the expected elevation gain today um, is a little bit bigger. So um, we're going to activate for the first time. Nobody else has done it yet. Uh, um, Whiskey 5 November Alpha Pop 007. Uh, the name is 9334. It doesn't have a name, so they gave it a number, which I think is the probably the elevation. So, um, it's about a thousand feet of gain over about uh, less, less than a mile was the plan. And so that's gonna be a little bit steep. May do a little zigzagging going up there. We'll see uh, what the terrain's like. And uh, get this thing activated. Pulling in here was interesting because uh, as we came into the area, it just became more and more forested, more and more forested because we came out of a forested area then kind of into this valley, as you saw earlier uh, on the road, and then kind of coming into some very beautiful um, uh, forest area here, very thick with uh, ponderosa pine and uh, and uh, other, some other pines. So and it looks like some oak as well. So really pretty. It's a great overcast. I mean, the weather's just absolutely perfect right now. Um, high overcast, keeping it keeping it uh, tolerable. It's probably about 70, 72 degrees right now. We got a little bit of rain yesterday, so the rains are starting to, to pick up a little bit, uh, which they'll do over the next uh, few weeks as we move into the monsoons. So we're gonna get up there, uh, get this peak activated. It's about one hour and 15 minutes uh, from my cabin. So pretty, uh, pretty nice little launch point. So we'll get cracking here. Here's our little sign block in the road. So um, we'll respect that and stop. Park off here to the side. Just following the road here up this little valley. And then we're gonna slope up to the right. It's very steep. So it's pretty up here. We're currently at about 8,700 feet. So, probably about a 600 foot gain from here to the top, but the terrain may dictate a little up and down. So we'll see. It's really nice in here. oak in here um, so the terrain a little bit less steep to the right uh, to the left over there is pretty much a pretty steep with just loose stuff so kind of up on a ridge here and I'll follow that up enough yakking let's get cracking all right taking a break at the uh, top of the steepest part here so I got over that ridge um, did not disappoint in steepness but check this out look at everything behind me this 
is beautiful country. So I did follow some game trails up here whenever I could keep the erosion down and um, try not to step on anything new, uh, you know, like oak trying to get living and other stuff. Compassionate bushwhacking. But uh, this is where I came from. But uh, I think when the, the last push here, we're going to go up kind of the uh, southeast side um, as you look at the chart and uh, get on up there after I catch my breath and get some water. We're probably, I don't know, 8,800, 9,000. Let me take a look. Um, so I have been up here for a couple of weeks. You think it'd be acclimated. I'm at 9,000 feet, so we got another 300 to go. So not bad. We'll get up there. Um, nice thing about it is just beautiful terrain. I don't mind uh, bushwhacking and stuff like this. It's just gorgeous. It's a little bit slower going because you got to pick your way, but uh, not even a whole lot of falling stuff in here. Uh, not like a um, Turner. So anyway, we'll get back to work. All right, we're on the summit. Oh, that was a wretched climb. Oh. Yeah, that last 300 feet's a doozy. Let's take a look around. Beautiful view to the north. Oh. Shoot. You can see the Probably the Springerville generating station right there. Um, you're looking at about uh, almost due north. This would be uh, due north here. So about heading uh, 323. We'll come over here and uh, you can see Escadilla Mountain at about a bearing uh, 247. So I think I already mentioned uh, this is a first activation for soda on this peak, so I'll have my name on here at the beginning. And uh, it's cool. I got two more south of here and another one southwest. So this will be number four in New Mexico. And I got a couple more in California, so I make number six. I don't know, just a new goal. Try to get first activations where the my skills permit. So this was a... Uh, a nice little navigation route uh, exercise and um, I think I've been up steeper but this is not at this elevation a pretty good climb so stand up a little rock here we're about 9300 feet so let's get cracking we're in the activation zone you might be able to see my uh, push-up pole right behind me strapped onto the I that funky little pine tree there. And it worked out perfectly. I'm over here in the shade on this rock. This is my operating position. And uh, just a perfect little setup. Huh. So, let's get on the air and see if we can make some contact.
Yeah, first activation, baby. Right there, four contacts. Yeah. Time to get off the mountain. A little bit too much lightning for me. Actually, any lightning is close is too much for me. We may get caught in the rain. So, let's get out of here. We've got a whole bunch of contacts. First activation. And lightning. There's the storm. Looks like it's going to pass just to the uh, west of me, but let's get out of here. A lot easier going down. And it's a wee bit cooler thunder overhead but uh, not too gnarly I'm happy to be off the top of the mountain though lightning metal uh, antennas wires and stuff just not a good combo so we'll get cracking off the peak here coming into the saddle so I'll come up and over all right the rain's picking up. I just got down to the bottom. Took a little bit different route. Looks like we're getting a little bit of hail. Um, not too far from the car, I don't think. I'd say let's get cracking. Of course, of course, as soon as I get to the car, it stops raining. Um, I think I just caught the edge of that one, but there's more forming up behind it. I would have loved to stay up there and gotten some more contacts. There were some other people trying to contact me, and I was going to go sideband as well uh, for you guys to like to do sideband. And yeah, no, being the tallest thing on the mountain is not a good thing, especially when you have wire in the air. So anyway, oh, that's probably the fastest descent I ever made. Um, I didn't want to stop and bother with my rain jacket. Um, or the the rain cover for the pack. Still getting some light rain in here, but uh, yeah, this is great. I mean, more rain the better up here. So it started raining about 11:30 for all of those that, that are thinking about coming up to this area during this time of year. So I'm glad I got an early start. 
I had a lot of fun. We got our first activation. So this was really great. Um, and it was, yeah, it was a tough hike, but certainly to shit. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, you just gotta pick the right route. There is kind of a, a rock wall to the far west side. I would not recommend that or a lot of, very, very rocky. So I'll post my route. You'll see that I went two different ways. Uh, the way down, kind of overshot my position a little bit, but um, terrain seemed a little bit easier and and uh, going down seemed like a good thing. So thanks for all the chasers. I do appreciate it. Um, just a little plug for my videos. I have a video stream called, uh, or a series called Soda360. Um, if you go to hamninja.com slash videos, you'll get to it. Obviously, you're probably on my channel now, so I don't have to tell you that. So part one is what is soda? Why do it? As an activator like me today, or a chaser when I'm chasing other summits. Um, you could do a summit to summit. You could be chasing from a summit or from your house or anywhere else. So uh, what that's all about. And <laughs> second one was all about planning. So it's how to pick a peak, um, how to pick a route to get to the peak. So that that portion of uh, building your own chart and the tools that I use. Um, number three was a reference activation. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, part four was how to log your points, etc. if you want to do that. I also created a separate one uh, just for chasers. And I also have another one. It's a little bit more in depth on using all trails, which is the navigation software that I use. I've had great luck with it. Um, I've tried a few of them. Um, I like that one the best, although they have re removed the USGS overlay. They said they're working on that. So um, anyway, it's, it's a great resource. Um, use anything you want. So with that, I'm going to pack it up and get out of here under light rain and beautiful skies. 73. We'll catch you guys on the next one. This way we have a very pretty valley. Uh, getting quite exposed right but uh, real pretty in here. Okay, and that peak you see just off to your right looks like a I don't know, big giant nipple. That is Red Butte, and we did that a few days ago as part of a double. Uh, combined that with AP015, which was another first activation. So I did a first activation on Red Butte last year. So, yeah, having a good time. Oof, some really heavy rain over there.